Hi guys, so for today's video, I thought it would be fun to just look at a bunch of different nail stuff that I've had that I've really wanted to use but just haven't gotten the chance to. I have some tips, a kit, some decorations, just a bunch of stuff that I've got and I just haven't found a way to work into a video or had time to try, things like that. These tips actually inspired this video because I've had these mosaic tips forever. Okay, actually scratch that. That was a lie. I've had these mosaic tips forever, but of course these ones are super similar, but these are in tip form and these ones are in full cover tip form. So, you know, covering the whole nail to the cuticle and these ones are just tips. I've had these forever. I literally probably almost two years now and I've really wanted to use them, but I've been a little bit intimidated and I have not seen a single other person ever actually use these. So of course, what did I do when I had those and hadn't used them in two years? I bought these ones when I saw them. I just thought these were so cool. They are 3D with like a pattern on them. I'm not 100% sure how these are supposed to be used. If you know, the points that stick out are supposed to be worked into the design or if we're supposed to file it down, but we'll figure that out later. So finally today, I want to use these, but let's look at everything else that I have that I also wanna to try today before we actually get into doing some nails. Next up, I have some Savvy Land gels. These are nail art pots and they all are luminescent, so they all glow. And I thought that that would be so fun for Halloween. So fun, in fact, that I bought these for last Halloween, literally a year ago, and I just didn't have a chance to use them. But we're all good. Don't worry about the expiration because it actually says it doesn't expire until 2025, so that's cool. Okay, let's just open one and just see. I opened this one and it looks all good. Like the gel is definitely still usable, so that's exciting. But I definitely want to use these today for some nail art on top of the mosaic. How will that work? Again, I don't know. That's a problem for future Emily. I took off the rest of the seal and it will need to be mixed up, but that's fine. Okay. I can't wait. I've decided I wanna swatch these, but let me show you the next product because it kind of ties in with this a little bit before we do the swatches. I just got these in today and these are brush wipes, which I've never even thought of using. I usually just use a lint-free wipe and stuff like that, but these are specific brush wipes. I think they're probably just a big like lint-free sort of thing, but nonetheless, I love specialized stuff. Listen, in my head, this ties in because I will need to be wiping the brush a lot in between swatching the gels, you know, colors, you know. <laughs> Let me get one out. And it just looks like a big sturdy tissue. But this will actually be really nice. I'm always trying to wipe the, my brushes on like a little itty bitty wipe. All right, let me mix these up now. You know what I really want that I actually feel like I need now is one of those, I don't know if anyone's seen them, but they're little machines that are essentially for just shaking up bottles and stuff like that to, you know, like remix them. I think they're called like Vortex things. Maybe that's just a brand name, I'm not sure. But they vibrate super, super quick and just mix the gel up, get air bubbles out and stuff like that, which I feel like at this point right now, in this exact moment would be extremely useful. Let's just do the little swatches of these now. They are pretty thin, which I'm a little surprised, but I thought they'd be a little bit thicker. Usually pots are usually more for nail art, but nonetheless, there's the yellow, green. Actually, it's lawn green, sorry. Blue, carmine, light purple, and orange. Then here they are in the dark. Honestly, I was a little surprised. I think that they need to be layered a little bit more. In real life, they don't really look that bright on camera. They are a lot brighter. And then here's my little brush wipe that I used. Next up from Dumb Blonde Cosmetics or Dumb Blonde Glitter on Etsy, we have a new collection. She always has the absolute best glitters and this collection looks so cute. So first we have a little charm. I'm gonna be honest, I opened this briefly already just to make sure it arrived safely. And we have one, two, three layers. Nope, four layers. All right, let's get into it. It's looking like some of these are pigments and some are glitters. Let's go through the glitters. Okay, I definitely wanna take a little peek at all of these, so cue montage.
Next up we have the powders, which I'm actually not going to open every single one of them because there is some leakage going on. I think because they are filled to the brim. So I think there's a little too much product in these little containers, but they are so pretty. Like, look at that little shine. I definitely will get a ton of use out of these pigments. And the glitters are so pretty. I love these mixes, always so creative. And she always has glitters that I've never seen before. We'll definitely work in either some powder or a glitter into today's set. And then briefly, we will talk about the Holo Taco brushes. I think I did show these in my last video, but I will use them today for my nail art. So next up, I actually got a hard gel kit, which I have not used in a very long time. It's been quite a while since I've used hard gel. Hard gel basically has to be filed off. It does not soak off in acetone and it's usually a bit thicker than soft gel, but I've been wanting some hard gel to play with because I've been really wanting a really good clear aspect to some of my nails. And sometimes you just need like a hard builder gel to do that. So yeah, I got hard gel to play with. This kit is from Moroven. I don't know if that's correct. I got this kit from Amazon and it comes with six gels and I think it was like $20. And let's just see what these colors look like. I know it's necessary, but I hate having to open these. We have quite a few shades here. I'm not going to open them all, but we also get a brush. There it is. Nice. I felt like hard gel would be really good to use with our tips today because it will really sink down into it, you know? In the kit, we also get a file and some nail forms. Now that I've showed you everything, let's get into actually using it. So I'm so excited. I just Googled what people do with these tips and I still can't really see a good uh, picture or anything like that on what exactly people are doing with these, but I'm just gonna put them on and hope for the best. I feel like that's gonna be really thick if I were to build it up all the way. Perhaps maybe we will like put some on and then, oops file it down and see if that looks okay. I'm not sure, but these tips are not very big. This is a zero and that one's gonna barely fit. I know my nails are crusty. Okay, I have leftover glue on them. I'm going to put these on with builder gel. We will use the hard gel on top. I don't really know if I would use hard gel to adhere tips. Now look at that, so interesting. I'm having a hard time deciding where to start, so I think I'm just gonna go in with some of those luminous gels and maybe try to go around the mosaic a little bit. I wonder if we file this down, if this would sort of give the same effect that one of the heat tracking nail arts we've done does, where it's almost like layered. I'm just going to add, you know, some random different colors here and there and cure in between. I do feel like it would be pretty thick to just build it up over the entire thing. Don't you guys think this is already a full cover tip? Like it's already built up. Would you just leave it like this with the texture? I guess you could, you definitely could. Maybe we'll leave one like that. I don't think a cohesive set is gonna come out of this one. I think it's gonna end up looking a bit more uh, experimenty. For this nail, I do think I'm going to file it a little bit down so that's why i'm just like kind of layering colors here and there i'm not sure how to kind of make it all go together like tie in maybe an ombre type thing oh look how nice that ombre looks i don't actually have a fan brush in my normal rotation of tools that i use for nail art so i feel like that was really cool that it was included in this hollow taco one so here's our little design it has sort of built up in between all of the ridges. Kind of looks like a little mountain ridge to me. I don't know. I'm going to open my clear hard gel now. And here's about how thick that is. With builder gel, you really want to be working with gravity. So I'm gonna try to just do that. With builder gel, there's like a certain method with it, which I definitely, most likely, I'm not good at. But I do know that you want to just put on a normal layer first, regularly brushed on. I want to make sure I'm getting all of this, you know, little random things. And then for the bigger blob, you kind of want to like work back and forth, which is probably a lot easier if what you're working on doesn't have a little mountain range. Since those ridges are so high, it's really hard to not make it look like flat. 
just looks like weird flat nail. Very shiny though. I'm gonna just put a little bit more since there are still some areas where the tip is above the gel. I'm having flashbacks to some of my first nail sets because I, for some reason, well, not for some reason, when I first started doing my own nails, I don't even think poly gel really existed. Maybe it did, but it definitely really wasn't known. And so when you saw like building your nails with gel, it was always builder gel. So I started with like dip builder gel and acrylics, but I know I used builder gel a lot in the beginning and this looks wonky like it did then but I feel like I got it looking a little bit okay. I was thinking the texture on these isn't just built up on the top. It's actually like indented. You can see it goes in. So we could always fill up this with gel also. So that way when I file it down, we don't lose any. Cause otherwise if we just file into these, I mean, essentially they're just gonna look clear unless we put gel back here too. So I'm gonna do that. I really don't want it to be just clear when it files down. And voila, we have the nail gel on top and underneath now. So let's file this down and just kind of see what happens. Maybe it'll look cool, maybe it won't. Maybe that was a waste of time, hopefully not, but we'll see. I think I've gotten it down to an acceptable shape. So let's wipe this and see how it looks. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, I guess. Yeah, it's something, I don't know. Definitely not a huge fan of that. I think we need to work with the design really in mind with the mosaic. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put just anything on top and have it turn out really cool. Let's put on a top coat just to see the full effect. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Not super impressed, honestly. It's just kind of like something. So let's move on and see if we can do something a little better. Since that didn't look amazing, let's try some other stuff. Let's try putting some of this glitter. With glitters with big clay pieces like this, they will end up just like going to the top, especially during shipping. She is in the UK, I believe. So they have a far way to go. So I just poured a little bit out to get to some of the other glitter underneath. I'm just going to start off with a base coat so we can stick some glitter on there. Trying to not have the gel pool too much. I feel like this could be really pretty. I'm gonna just put it everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna cure that. And I'm going to just use more of this builder gel. I am loving how clear the gel is. And there's our glitter nail, which I feel like the mosaic underneath, you can barely tell. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like maybe we need some jelly gels to really make it look really cool. Cause I feel like there's just like, you can't really tell that much. You kind of can, it does look cool, but I just feel like I was expecting a little bit more. All right, I'm breaking out the jelly gels. Hopefully that should be a bit prettier. I don't know. I just realized that I completely omitted that I'm gonna wait until the end to file the rest of them and top coat and everything. So this is not its final form. I'm going to just try painting just the entire thing with this jelly. All right, what do we think of that? It does look okay, but I don't know. I don't quite know how I feel about it. I don't even know how I feel about these tips, honestly. I thought that it was going to be, I don't know, more exciting than this but I just feel like you just can't see it that well, no matter what I do. I'm going to try to just put a tinted pink gel over without any other decoration and we can just see. You really do end up kind of needing a lot of gel and that looks okay, I guess. But I was just thinking to myself, like what can I do to try to make this look cool? And somehow I almost completely forgot about all of these powders. So I'm going to take like two or three of them and we're gonna put different pigments on top and see if we can get like a nice shift effect or something. So we'll do this bright pink, blue, and let's do the green. I'm gonna use my Kira Sky rub on top coat. I know I have a little hair trapped in there. I don't even wanna talk about it, but it's all right because these are put on with a peel off base coat. So won't be in there for too long. Okay, these are a little bit messy. So I'm just gonna kinda not even open it all the way. Oh, I'm not trying to do it all over the entire thing. I want it kind of just a little bit different. So that one, now I got this blue and the green. I think I've gotten it on all the crevices. I haven't clear capped this one. So I think I'm just going to go over the top a little bit with some powder with my finger and maybe we can get a little bit more of an effect. 
maybe? These are also eye safe, so that is super cool. I will definitely have to try that out. And now I'm just going to just top it all off with clear. Sorry if I seem a little bit off today. I am filming at like, it's really early for me. It's like 8 a.m., which normally I would not be filming so early, but I'm really hungry. And when I'm really hungry, I can't sleep, but I can't eat because I have blood work that I have to be fasting for. So usually if I'm up late and I can't sleep and stuff, I'll just do my nails. I'm gonna leave this one with texture. I'm not gonna file it. And let's file. I know this set is not looking good. <laughs> Let's put a top coat on and see if it gets any better. I feel like I don't even know what to say because I thought that I was going to like these tips a lot more than I do. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I was expecting because I haven't really seen anyone use these. And there's a couple pictures if you Google them, but not a lot. And I feel like mine just don't even look like theirs. Like that looks okay, but I, I just don't know. I would buy like a separate tip for that. This one I did not build up. So we will have the ridges to feel, which I feel like would be kind of weird, but it'd probably be fine probably wouldn't bother too much they kind of remind me of, of those 3d printed nails the dragon ones like with the scales and stuff this one i accidentally filed a little bit too much into and now there's just a straight hole i'm putting a couple 3d accents on the nails just so hopefully at least they will look kind of cool in the dark I feel like my nails never look that good when I'm using a peel off base coat because you can just sort of see through it, especially with clear nails and you can always see that little bit of lifting. <sighs> I'm frustrated. Like I said, I'm gonna go get blood work, but my nails, like my real nails have been lifting and this could all be absolutely completely unrelated. <laughs> I'm just speculating. One of the indications that I had an issue with my thyroid was that my real nails were lifting. It can also be like a deficiency with iron, which I definitely know I have. I started getting laser hair removal a couple weeks ago and I bruised from that, which is definitely not normal. Like you could see every single individual dot that they did. Like my legs look polka dotted pretty much with bruises from just where they zapped the laser. Yeah, I'm gonna try to just hopefully go and see if I can figure that out. I no longer take medication for my thyroid, but maybe I need to again. I don't know. Again, I'm just speculating. I haven't really been wearing nails because like I said, my real nails have been lifting and I was kind of like, damn, did I do that? But it's definitely not me. I've taken better care of my real nails in the past couple months than I ever have in the entire time I've been doing my own nails and they are somehow worse. So I definitely know it's not me because they're not really that thin anymore. I don't really file them that much. I don't peel my nails off except with the peel off base coat, which comes off really easily. So yeah, that's just a minor little update. I am sure I will be fine though, do not worry. I really like these glow in the dark gels though. I definitely will be using them for Halloween stuff. Very easy to work with. I do wish that they would glow a little bit more though, but regardless, they are pretty gels. I like the colors. I also really do like these hollow taco brushes. I feel like they're very good quality. They're definitely, I don't think very good for super precise nail art because even this brush, I feel like is a little bit thick, but they're very good for like French tips and stuff like that, long lines. And then just because, you know, why not? I'm going to put one of these little clay pieces on. You can encapsulate these and you can also just stick them on and top coat them like a charm kind of, but I would really recommend top coating them because I feel like they'd probably get kind of dirty since they are clay. Then just a top coat for this. And I'm gonna try to fill it in a little bit with the gel. Not that I'm gonna really be wearing these super long, but you know, for until they pop off. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that these nails kind of turned into a little bit of a mess. I felt like I was just gonna be able to have a vision once I saw how the tips looked with gel, but it just, it just didn't pan out. I really liked everything else that I tried though. I'm definitely going to be using hard gel a little bit more. I'll be using the hollow taco brushes, the gels, and then of course I'll be using the glitters and I will definitely have to try them as makeup to the pigments. But here are the finished uh, janky nails. They look all right if you, you know, squint your eyes, but here they are in the dark as well. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.